Who but I thought he, yeah, he tried jumping on um, he tried jumping on that. What's it that uh, that YG, uh, YG Mark that you, oh, yeah. he tried jumping on his tune. He did he did oh, a live one, version oh. of it. Yeah, he did a live version. Oh of yeah, it. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's yeah, a remix of but it. the guy won't let him release the tune. Oh, you no. know why? Because he's like, oh, you keep riding on man's from for hey, you keep you keep going on every genre. It's a culture vulture. Yeah, true that. Maybe it's a culture vulture. Maybe he just likes all the cultures. Like, you know you, yeah, if you're a big, massive artist, like, oh, should we start? Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Carry oh. on, but this is a podcast, oh. bro, you know. This yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look, if you're a big, massive artist, yeah, yeah for example, that band boy, yeah, yeah, and uh, you are actually a fan of that music, you before you were even an artist, so you're a culture vulture because you were already a fan before. No, I get that. No, I understand that. I, I, I do get where you're coming from, but the band boy is getting a lot of hate. Like, he's jumped on every single tune that's gone big and you know what like it's not even like drake the same thing though yeah drake the drake's the same like he's the same sort of, he's the getting same the same hate for it like i mean at the end of the day look i like the same thing with kendrick said i like drake with the melodies drake is sick with the melodies but not yeah. when he's acting tough and the new 100 gigabytes of stuff he's dropped not one tune where he acts tough no no not I, one I hip hop, it, yeah. not one there's about four tunes but there's not one hip-hop tune where he's like going on hard He's just literally singing and all of his nonsense and like, cause you know, it's, that's it's, him, it's isn't him it? in it. Yeah, that's what his fans like, isn't it? Man? It's probably over your head with lyrics. Like the guys want a Pulitzer Prize for his writing, man. Yeah, do you get what he's saying or no? Yeah, I don't. Know. He, he doesn't understand. Yeah, you know, when you when you go up a little bit, then listen. You need to go on rap genius. You know they break. Yeah, they down. break everything down for you. No, seriously. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Literally swearing straight in, but yeah. Yo guys, welcome, <laughs> welcome back to the back Friday, to the Friday podcast. podcast. I'm your favorite podcaster's favorite podcaster, <laughs> Big J. And I'm RJ. Been away for a couple of weeks, but now That's we're it. back with a bang. That's it, man, fully. We yeah. needed them two weeks, innit, man? Needed it. I needed definitely them. needed it. Yeah, you need it. You were out, you were out touring countries. My skin needed it, you get me? Yeah, <laughs> you were out touring countries, man. Yeah, no, done it. Done well, man. You know what, yeah? So I'll talk about holidays and we'll get into that. I yeah. went um, Turkey first. Antalya stayed at a place called Aska, such a sick hotel, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the staff, like, when people ask me, oh, how was it? How was the food? How was, like, you experiencing that? You know what I tell them? It's like, you know, their staff, they've been told these lots, like, not us, lot, but in the customers in general have paid a lot of money for this yeah. all inclusive holiday to give them anything they want and just make their experience as good as possible, isn't it? Oh, sick. So even when you get there, you know, from the airport and that, yeah? Yeah. You don't wait in the queue and they make you sit down. And then they bring like a clipboard over to you and this and that. And obviously it's one of them ones at the front. They take your luggage straight up to your room. Isn't it? Oh, that's sick, bro. It's sick, man. Um, I need a holiday, man. I've been out. So they had Starbucks on top. I don't know if you've seen it on my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Yeah, it. so they got it on tap. Like you can just as many as you want. You get me just there. Oh, sick. So you get addicted to coffee for the week again. <laughs> that's fucked, yeah. I, I um, love my coffee, man. And the one we stayed at, it had like um, a water park, in it? Yeah, the full-on water park at the venue, yeah? At the hotel. In the hotel, yeah, so it was like... Oh, sick. So, I spent, we spent most of our days there, to be honest. Just yeah, I would It's too hot, isn't it? 40 degrees and that, man. Well, you know what? Yeah, I did like Yeah, bro, I saw one. your video where you're underwater. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. remember seeing that now. I've got the snorkel thing in it, some goggles. I've already taken, man. Just, you get me, I find it fun, but fucking, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I didn't know, you know, I, I did a bit of a dumb one, yeah? Mm. Obviously, I thought, you know, if you stay in the water, you don't get that sunburn and that, because you're in the water, it's cooler than that. <laughs> but obviously, it doesn't work like that. No, I don't. But, man. Uh, I don't really use sun cream in that, man. I don't think a lot of Asians do. No. Because obviously, look, our ancestors are from what? India and Africa, like, where <laughs> Where is hot? Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's been installed in our system, it's there. Um, I've never sunburned or nothing. You know, one thing about holiday, though, yeah, you know, my daughter, she becomes like a natural swimmer when she's out there over here. She'd never go swimming, like, never, never would ever took her to the pool. I'm going to start, I think, soon. Cause Do you know what they say? Like, they say your mood, it depends on where country you live as well. Because yeah. Because obviously, yeah. like, they say when the sun's out, it brings everyone's mood out better. Yeah. No wonder yeah, so UK is such a miserable place, but everywhere else, like, <laughs> sun's out, everyone's all like, yeah, good morning, how you doing? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah people there were nice as well. Like I said, the staff were top. Yeah. Even when you go out of the um, resort, there's not really much to do where we were. Um, there's a place called uh, Land of Legends. I think it's called Land of Legends. And it's, but that bit sick is like um, a shopping district. Yeah. But it's like 
uh, I think they've styled it out as like um, another city. I think maybe Vegas or something. They've got like a canal running through it and that, but like a fake canal. Oh, sick! Like a man-made thing. It's sick, man. Um, but that's that's literally the only day out we had over there. And how long were you out there for again? For for literally a week and yeah. then. Nightmare in it, man. Yeah, what happened, man? I heard a little, oh, little bit about bro. it. I know you said save it for the podcast. So what happened? So what happened is holiday over. We got to the airport. Yeah, yeah. Um, just before we got to the airport, Mrs. got a text saying got a bit of a delay. I think forty five minutes because so this, this is what they said because the you know the luggage belt is carousel. Just, yeah, the carousel thing stopped working or whatever in it. That's what they use as an excuse. So then we were there, gone through duty free, I bought my bottle and this and that. Um, we were just waiting to get the gate called out. There was a bit of a thunderstorm. Yeah, and you can see, I've got it recorded, I'll show you. But um, it stopped, it did stop straight away. Uh, it lasted maybe about half an hour max in it, yeah. And then I asked one of the workers, oh, is this normal, this thunderstorm? They go, yeah, it happens like once every two weeks and it just a quick what? half an hour thing. Um, but again, then we got another text saying, oh, your flight's further been delayed. So our flight was supposed to be at like quarter past nine. Yeah. Then it got delayed to like 10.30 or something. Mm. And then it, they said further delayed till 12 o'clock. What the f- And then at this point, obviously, the whole holiday, um, Jet 2 have three kids in it, kids go free. Yeah. So it was just families, bare families with small kids and that in it. And obviously everyone started getting frustrated. And the guy's like, yo, your, your plane's literally landed here. Give us half an hour, we're going to clean it. And then you lot can go. So everyone's getting ready. Yeah. And then boom, the guy comes out saying, oh, flight's cancelled. Everyone starts going nuts. They're like, yo, you just, you, you've just told us that we're going in half an hour. And the guy's like, oh, the crew have gone past there. They have like a designated time in it that they can only fly this many hours. And they've gone past that time now. Oh my so the crew God. can't fly. So I don't know why they weren't a backup crew, though. I don't understand that. It's a big airline. So then the nightmare starts, man. Every, everyone's going mad at the staff. And the staff walk off. There's no staff at the gates. What? They just walk off? Yeah, they just leave you mad to it? Yeah, yeah. Just you see off. these things on these reels and stuff, but you never feel it happen to you. Yeah, that's what I'm Do saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, so for you telling me this, that's crazy. You know, for me, I was, bro, I was having a panic attack, anxiety attack, and thinking, yo, I just need to get out of this place. And if we're not going, let's go somewhere else, innit? But they still took time, man. The staff, then they came out, they're like, oh, we need to now organize a hotel for everyone to go, and this and that. What? And then they're like, oh, you duty free stuff, you have to give it back. Because obviously, you're not leaving the country anymore, innit? No. And our passports have already, obviously already, already been stamped because we're waiting at the gate to literally yes. board. So we had to un- like, stamp out again out the airport. So we got extra stamp on the <laughs> passport. And then they took us to some shit hotel. I can't even put no other words. It was so shit, bro. It's like no one's stayed at that hotel for years. Like, you know, when you open the door, yeah? It's like a sauna in there. Serious? Yeah, no AC, no nothing. Yeah, it's got AC, but the oh. AC doesn't kick in until like three hours because it's so hot in there. And then, Man, that's you know cool. what happened, yeah? So we've got a big WhatsApp group with all the passengers in it. Yeah. And we're all like trying to like work together because they're trying to say, oh, it's weather, adverse weather conditions. But the initial um, text was obviously the carousel thing broke down, yeah. isn't it? So they try anything to get out of it. Yeah, obviously they're going to try, ev- they're going to try everything to get out of it because they know if all passengers are going to get together yeah, yeah. and then put a case towards them, they're it gonna, was, it's gonna be more it difficult mad. to um, tackle one. I think some passengers might even be watching because obviously I put it in the group. Yeah. Um, some pa- there's certain passengers when so basically they had two hotels yeah booked for all the passengers. Yeah. Because bro, it's middle of the night at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there was a certain family that didn't even get no hotel. They were just left in the streets so entirely by themselves, no staff, and then they had to go find their own hotel kind of thing. What do you mean that? Like literally just... They just left they go out, there's the, both full, the two hotels that we had, the full, we miscalculated. What it. the fuck, man? How can they and, do something like that? And then... then um, Are uh, they getting anything for this? Like, I, surely? They've said that, they've got emails saying that they're going to get 90 quid back or something, but I don't think they're happy with it. They're still trying to appeal it. There was actually another person, yeah? They said that the roof fell, where there was obviously, you know, at the second hotel, it, it, it was like a one starting, innit? And they go, literally, the roof fell on their bed. It was that bad. No way. Fuck, man. That's the worst. No. That, that's the worst ending to a holiday I've ever had. Obviously, the holiday was sick. And then they do that. And then they do that, man. Fucking hell, bro. Have you got any pictures of the other hotel? Yeah, I got a video and this and that. It's shit, man. Trust me. Some some people's doors didn't even lock that. But wedge it with the suitcases and shit. 
What do you mean? Like you, you sleep in, in what well, that one star is gonna be a brutal one star. Yes, yeah, dead one star. Wow. Man. But anyway, man, yeah, finally got back to England. <laughs> Washed my clothes. Yeah. Pack my bag. <coughs> straight back to Albania, man. Yeah, man. Gee. Albania was loving sick. life. You know what? Yeah, it's different, man. I didn't know how it was gonna be in it. Yeah. But like me being me, I always do a bit of research in it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew it would be, it's not as what other people perceive it to be. But yeah, landed there. Obviously, I went and got mate Emilio, who's from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah went back to his town or his city called Skodra, which is I, th I believe like up north is near the Montenegro border. The, the, where the road you look live, where you guys were chilling and you put up some stories and that. That yeah, road yeah, looked yeah. lively. Sick man. Uh, beaches are good. Food was good. People sick. Yeah, it's people sick, must man. be friendly, I can imagine. Um, so where he lives, we went to like a castle thing. Yeah. It's like a castle from where he's from. Um, and then went to the beach and that. And then, you know, obviously, I was telling him, oh, take me here, take me here. Yeah. He's like, how do you know about all these places? And I'm like, yeah, I did my research before I come in it. But uh, unfortunately, got ill there for one full day. Like, I don't know what happened. I thought I was going to pass out, pass away. But... Do you think that was from Turkey? Yeah, I think that was from Turkey yeah. because my missus and uh, my daughter got it as well. So... Uh, Unfortunately, I had one day less there, but still went out that day. Did anyone well, from the WhatsApp group feel ill? Hmm? Was that, did anyone from that WhatsApp group feel You know what? I asked my missus to ask that in the group, but she goes, oh, no, no, I don't want to ask that. What? Yeah. I, was, I thought I was going to ask the same question, you know, from that WhatsApp group. Yeah, I would have. Um, I said, and on top of that, you gave us food poison. <laughs> <laughs> um, Albania. You know Albania? It's... It's a different sort of country because like, I was chatting to one of Amelia's mates and he was telling me about it used to be like under the power of the government and whatever they never used to be able yeah. to listen to music and that so but he, he said that we've only recently um, discovered music like dance music EDM and shit like that. Even oh is that western music? So, yeah, yeah. so only their sort of yeah, cultural music, music was, was yeah, 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 I get that. They were only allowed folk music. And, um, well, he, they, so did they have access to the internet and things like that to no, make so, it access to So he goes to me uh, just recently, so I go, when, when you say recently, he's a bit older, what do you mean he goes up uh, like in 1992, 1993, like that oh, time okay, was kind fair, of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no internet on it in there, but he goes up uh, before that, the only access we would get, do you know if people go out from this country to study in that, like to Italy, because it's close to Italy, that's where they learn about um, different oh, cultures and, different, and music and shit like that. Can you imagine like, that's weird, isn't it? It must be living in that time where you're dealing with that. Mm. When I was doing a bit of research, someone described it as uh, um, Europe's North Korea back then. Obviously, it's not like that's that anymore, serious. but that's what they wrote. But yeah, man, I also want to talk about shit that's happening more close to home, man. <laughs> Bro, what's going on, man? What's going on? I have <laughs> no, I think Britain's broken, bro. Britain's fully broken. It's gone. It's finished. You got MPs on holiday whilst all this shit's going on. So today's by the way, guys, the seventh of August. It's Wednesday, mm. and you've seen all these um, videos of um, the other cities. They've all boarded up their businesses. Yeah, they've all literally. Yeah, they're, they're all prepared because I think what I saw was um, a telegram list, 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 list got leaked. Yeah, where yeah. where they're gonna attack and what date they're gonna attack? So whoever they didn't call it attack, you know, they call uh, it protest. But you know what? I don't know how they're not. I don't know how EDL are not labelled as a terrorist group. Yeah, like, I don't yeah. get it. That they're calling it protest. They're still not calling it terrorist. They're still like, how the fuck you're you're like? That's they, what they're literally doing. It's in the yeah. way they're going around terrorizing communities. Yeah, that's it? what they're doing. And plus, like, you got families and and the kids and like mothers, fathers in hotels trying to protect. Like, their families, man, you don't... And they're trying to burn that shit down. I mean, And not just that stuff are in there as well. Yeah. You get me? People who go to, who've who gone to work that day, they're now in a building where there's man outside trying to burn your building down. Literally, you know what? You don't know how... I mean, I'm not being funny here. Like, half the people and half, obviously, our family came down as immigrants in this country, right? You take away immigrants from this country that, that actually became civilians of this country, this wouldn't be a country anymore. If they pulled their businesses out and they decided, you know what? Not just that, not, I'm not, it's not even businesses, do you know? Anything. NHS. Yeah, NHS, doctors, doctors business, everything. It's everything, so much yeah. like, I don't understand, you know, I've, I've you know, Leicester's such a multi-diverse place. Like yeah. literally, I mean, I've got friends from all different walks of life. And I find it so sad that it's going on so like close to home. Yeah. Obviously, I can't speak for other cities, but, 
I know Leicester were weird. I know, I know shit kicked off here and sat on Saturday in town. I don't think it did. I was in town on Saturday. With well, my daughter well, when was it then? I don't it know. Was I be, yeah, something. I think that I think the feds were really good. Apparently, you go back it. Huh? You go back it. Bro, I went through town. Nothing was happening. Why did you go town? No, we went um, to see Yanomai, isn't it? Big up Yanomai. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On Saturday. Met Yanni. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's, Yanni's cool, you know. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably chatting to my daughter and that. Because um, she says, I bet you don't know where I'm at, isn't it? Because, you know what? I think he... More people know him than he thinks, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, defo. In it? 100%. 100%. I think he's blessed, man. It's cool seeing Bav again. Um, standing in the queue. Uh, like I said earlier, I went to the front of the queue and his Bob's missus was there. She was like at the front of the queue greeting all the people, so that was cool as well. But um, yeah, on the 18th of August, yeah, that's it. We're gonna be the there. last race school show, will definitely be there. Um, yeah, but yeah, I didn't see nothing in town to be honest. No, something did kick off though, man. It was on everything Leicester. There was all these feds, and then you saw Clock Tower. Near Clock Tower. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was literally near Clock Tower, you know. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but you know what? Though? I don't think it's ever. Well, obviously, apart from the riot, apart from what we had kick off on Belgrave Road and Evanston size of that when all that shit kicked off with the cricket. But I don't think something. I don't think it's gonna kick off home. And you know, I really hope it don't. I really pray it don't. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like it. It's, it's sad, isn't it, having to see, like, even, you know, in these other cities, people having to close and, like, it affecting their business. Yeah. Like, they're having to board up, they're having to, like, make contingencies before mm -hmm. it happens kind of thing, isn't it? So well, they know it's going to happen. I saw something, yeah. I saw something, right? You know, you know this, all, this, all, this all came from that really horrible situation. And I don't even want to talk about it. It's sad. You know, yeah, yeah. Just, you know it's, it's just not right. But then... Like the post I shared yesterday, right? That Lucy Letby thing. Yeah, yeah. She killed off. She did what she did. Yeah. Right? yeah. I don't even want to say that. But there was no riots for that. So where was your energy then? And it's, you know what it is? This is what I, I think it, there's undertones of racism. Yeah. And, I, and it's, it's open my eyes that this country, like, it is racist. All right. So let me, let me stop you there. Yeah. So I've just read before I came here the there's an MP from Northampton and her wife. Uh, posted a racist thing on uh, X, yeah? yeah, and then she got cautioned for it, and then she deleted it, but they found it, and she got cautioned for it, and she goes, oh, it was a spur of the moment thing. How can you be racist on, on, on the spur of the moment? Isn't it? Like, what? You're, you're either racist or you're not. What, you're like, only racist after 7 o'clock and shit? Like, what the fuck? Or what's like, yeah, what or... the that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone's pissed you off tonight. You know what I mean? Real. Like, oh, yeah, shit. Oh, fucking hell. And the worst thing is she looks after kids. She goes, oh, I look after uh, a Bangladeshi and something else, kids and that. Exactly. And everyone's like, oh, get your kids away from her. She's a racist. Do you know what this is? For, the fuck? I went to St. Peter's and St. Paul's primary school. I live in Sarston. It's a predominantly white area. Yeah. I have never ever had any racial issues yeah i was one of the token i was i was token from south park in that school <laughs> the like, i was the asian guy I, I won stickers for singing hymns bro <laughs> seriously they were like oh yeah well, all right you know, you know what i mean you know, you know, this is another thing i was going to say yeah so you know how you just said our parents are immigrants or whatever they came down yeah I'm not immigrant. I'm British. Yeah, I yeah, class yeah. Myself I, I class myself as British. So when they say get out, what do they mean? Get out of where? Yeah, because the thing is, I'm they, don't know, they, age, yeah, but they don't know. The thing is, the people that are writing, they ain't got a fucking brain cell, bro. Yeah, you got know. one person writing. He was like, oh, so so why these immigrants are coming in, taking our jobs? Okay, so uh, so what are you gonna do about it? He goes, oh, I can't work. I've been done for assault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got so to what the, so so how the fuck does that even make sense? You got people willing to do the jobs that you can't even get, bro. So what yeah, are you yeah. fighting for? Your house ain't even yours, so what are you fighting for? That's another thing I was gonna say, that's another thing I was gonna talk about. Even like Alright, so uh Bobby Kasanga, big up Bobby, I seen this post here. This is a question I wanna ask all of you. Mm. So if your op was getting battered by racist yeah, would you go help him? Would you back him or would you just yeah, walk on? I'm backing him, man. I'm backing him. I'm backing him, I'm backing him. I'm, I'm backing on him, that man. Day we're brothers, on that it? day, on that day, we're brothers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, I'm backing. I'm backing as well, yeah. What about you, Raj? There's only one guy I probably <laughs> won't. There's only one guy I'd love to see get banged up, but I can say his name. But yo, <laughs> any other than that, yo, I'm backing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that guy knows me. And then the, my other question was, right. so you know how you said you were the token. Asian guy. Yeah, I was the Canadian guy. You, so you, you didn't uh, experience no racism? In no, it, right? I, I was. The thing is, yeah, I, look, like I said, Leicester, from the experience I've had in Leicester, because it's such a diverse place, I've never witnessed racism yeah. towards me. Now, coming from an area that I have, I've never been brought up in Belgrave. I was in Seistan, so I always like, had friends in Belgrave and everything, but 
being predominantly going to a Catholic school, which is St. Peter's and St. Paul's, it was like, you know, we used to have hymn days, we used to have prayer days, bro. Like, I never had, I, I wasn't, I wasn't always like, no one ever had any racial anything against me. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's sad, like, because now as a country, I think, yeah, Britain is racist. As a country, fully. Yeah. I've seen things, yeah, it is. Not Leicester. Not where I live. You know what it is as well, yeah? Not, not all British home. people are racist either. It's not all of them, is it? No. It's select, it's select ones of them, yeah, but the ones that, you know, only bring it out, like you said, when <laughs> certain things yeah, happen. Yeah, it's, the races, it's the racism in power. That's, that's the fucked up thing. You know that? But do you think now that, so obviously you must have heard they're doing all this to divide us and this and that. Do you mm. believe in any of that? Yeah, of course. Obviously, they've always, the, the agenda has always been divide us. Divide and conquer. Yeah, it's always been the agenda. That's that's literally. I mean, you, you had you had Prince Charles talking about flipping poverty, sitting on his fucking golden chair, bro. Yeah. What? How does that even make sense, bro? Get that fucking golden chair away. I don't care if it's tradition. I don't want you talking about poverty. You don't know what the fuck it is. Sorry, you don't. How the fuck are you guys talking about fucking cost of living? You know, right now, actually, while we're on politics, have you seen what certain politicians have been saying about, you know, the Manchester attack? That's another thing we ain't spoken mm. about, obviously, on here. But uh, some people, some police are saying, uh, I mean, some politicians were saying the police were in their right, they should be acting how they would. The thing is, the guy was on, the, on, his, on his back. With his hands behind his With back. With his hands behind his back. Not he was anymore. not a threat. Yeah. Like, that like, serious talk, he was no threat. The guy got kicked in the face, man. I, I, if I don't know... Like, the, if he kicked him on his temple, that's death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's death. Yeah. That's George Floyd, that kind of situation. Murder, that's murder. Yeah, that's murder. Yeah, yeah. And the, the fact that this guy ain't serving prison time or whatever, it's baffling to me. And you know what? You know what? When I, when I see people's views, views on this, I kind of know where you, I kind of know where you stand with it. And if you think, oh, no, 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 the police were doing their thing. No, I, I think the police were right. Bro. And do you think if it, was, it was a slimy it, tactic when they released the video after? You know, the ones of the guys actually smacking the police? No, I don't think it was a slimy tactic because if you look at it, they even broke that video down. If you look at it, it was the police that were being aggravating. Yeah. They started the situation. The, yeah. the guys, the culprits that they were saying, they never, they never aggravated it. The police were aggravating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously then it kicked off. Then the guy swung. Yeah, yeah. So, again, and I he mean... he deserves to be put on the floor so he's not a threat anymore. Yeah. And I think they neutralised the threat, but he didn't need to get kicked at all, not even once in his head. No, he didn't need to get kicked. There, there's, there was no need for that. There was no need for that whatsoever. And, and, and I really hope that case... Because at the end of the day, I mean, the police... We've had so many situations that they've been in. They killed two dogs. Yeah. That one, that one police officer that, that ended up raping um, that cousin's. That Wayne Cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Then you've got this. Like, you know what? Thank God the guy didn't pass away. Yeah. Thank God, yeah. But if he did, I think the country would be in a different place right oh, now. Oh, man, the country would be in ruins because obviously you now. Know what happened in Leeds before, though. Like Say again. Weeks, what happened in mm. Leeds. Yeah, yeah, about the Romanian family yeah. thing. Yeah. you seen that, yeah? They were proper mad as well. So there's a Romanian family or something, and then um, one of the kids got hurt or something. Not Nothing to do with the family, I think, but the. Yeah. Um, the council or whatever, the people who look after them, like, find out about it, and the police officers came to extract the kids from the house, and they took the kids away. What? And then they went nuts, innit? They went nuts there. That's fucked, bro. So even, like, even that, yeah, do you know like, how these British people saying, get them out, get all the immigrants out, that's what... They weren't, they weren't aiming it at certain people, I think. They weren't all immigrants out, innit? Because I, I think, think they attacked two holidays that day. Innit? Yeah, I think what it is with... It's, it's the government. They haven't really dealt with this issue when, it's, when it first started coming about. And it, it first started coming to light that we've got too many people in. This country is overpopulated. And people are saying, yeah, like, <laughs> all is. these marches or whatever today, the protests yeah. that our thing you planned today, how can police not lock them off? Cause it's an act of terrorism, isn't it? What they're doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how they, like I said, I don't know how they're not classed as a terrorist group. Yeah. They are a ter they're, they're like ISIS, bro. They're like, yeah, yeah. they're like Hamas. They're just like them, bro. No, and then Literally. when they're doing the thing, that's actually the time they're doing it. They're doing the crime, then, isn't it? So why don't they lock it off? It's, bro, I, I, genuinely, I don't know what to say, man. The country's insane. But they're saying, I know, I heard Keir Starmer saying that he's going to get the 
Oh, you know you get army police or something. But they've already said, they've already said, like, I know someone's been arrested already for um, inciting racial hate online. Listen, they've arrested, like, 100 people, they're yeah. saying. And I know that people, um, I know that the, the sentences that they've put out, so fair play to them, like, and I know that you're going to get some of your, um, someone said to me today, you're going to get some of your rights taken away from you if you're found doing anything or saying anything. Yeah. Like, some, like, like your your GP rights or, or something like that. I don't know what. It okay, is. let's play devil's advocate here. Yeah, obviously, what I I I personally think what they're doing is wrong when they're inciting all this hate. But in this country, didn't we have freedom of speech? We do have freedom of speech, but when the freedom of speech is inciting something, and when you've got, I think you've got responsibility when you when you're in a position where you've got people following you and people following your words. You need to be very careful with what you say. Yeah. yeah. Um. Like. You know, it's so funny, like, you look at the world, for example, we, we, I mean, over the past few months ago, we were all talking about Palestine and what they went through. Now, I had a conversation with somebody today, like, why did Ukraine get so much from the West in terms of air and everything? And then when Palestine, you didn't really get that, you didn't really get the same the same they didn't put the same energy yeah you, you in. didn't you, there, there wasn't the same energy yeah, yeah, yeah so i do feel that now they're now in a situation where everyone's sort of seen this there's people that have seen this and it's you, causing a lot of drama okay because, let me ask you this right now this is a good question yeah go for it what's more powerful and, in, and influential in this day and age social media or the media Like you're saying, they didn't show it, they didn't show it. The thing is, obviously... In it. But social media put so much energy in it, the, in a good way, which is sick, they need to. Yeah, you have keep, to, but the problem yeah. is, it's the demographic, it's the papers. Like, you got to think about it, the papers in the UK, right? When you, we talk, we haven't even spoke about the Euros, really. Yeah. yeah. But remember those five, five black pairs got hate. They got all, they, were, they always get more hate. So the yeah, media yeah, yeah. do it. So the media say that this is going on. Yeah. We take our news from let's say insta um you know like there's pages and stuff like yeah, that yeah. yeah we take all our news from there so we don't look at mainstream news yeah but yeah. mainstream news controls a lot of the demographic yeah, yeah yeah which is the which is a problem so they control the older demographic because they don't really go on Instagram insta like they, they they go on insta look at cute dogs and cute cats and things the news that they get is from newspapers and tv yeah, yeah. so it's kind of hard to differentiate on you know on what's real now all right so an, another i think disadvantage of the social media news is now a lot of misinformation is being spread yeah you don't know what's going on. and i think obviously i don't know which news outlet had spread that are oh, it was it was a it was a muslim kid who went to do those three stabbings I, I, someone had someone had put out false information and then inside all of this and it started massively now. Now yeah. it's just gone stupid, and it's just ridiculous now. Because I like, like I said, like news is like things aren't getting better. Things are just getting worse on the day. We're going backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, life was so much more better, man. And now it's just gone so much more difficult. I can't just say, oh yeah, it's because you're older now. It's not. Look at it. Look no, at life. even our olders. Yeah, they're they're comparing this to back in the day. They're saying this this is what happened to us back in the day. That like we were scared to even come out of our house. It was mad, really? racist, we're getting bricks chucked through our thing every day. And you know what they used to do, apparently? This is what we happens. all live and breathe the same air, man. You know, like, if it's there was like, an Asian family on the street, yeah, they would write on, you know, the street thing, yeah? No, no Asians, no. No Asians yeah, on the street, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. house and shit like that. But, I don't know, in this day and age, I can't believe it's happening. I hope everything does get better, man, to be honest. I really hope it does, but... I, I mean, I don't see it getting better. And then right now you've even got the Olympics and shit. Like, what, what's going on with the Olympics, man? All right, so this is another thing I would definitely wanted to bring up, yeah? Gosh. Misinformation again. This was, this was an easy one. You could have literally typed that woman's name in, yeah? Yeah. The Algerian woman. Yeah. Because people say, no, no, she weren't um, a woman. She was born a man and she wasn't born a man. Yeah, I know, but they failed tests. Yeah. They no, failed, was... no. There's a boxing commission. Yeah. This is the thing. This is stupid. Now, this makes no sense whatsoever. So the Olympics, they fucked up. 
Yeah. The reason why they fucked up. Because the they boxing commission do a test. The testosterone yeah, test. Yeah, test testosterone test. They both, no, no, she had failed the test. Yeah, yeah. However, the Olympics, doing the same sport. They didn't do that test. They didn't do that test. How the fuck are you not doing that test? But then, that's what I'm saying, that's not her fault, is it? It's not that I, I understand fault. it's not her fault, but. She's probably at the biggest stage in her life. She's at the Olympics, she's worked towards this. And then misinformation is being spread yeah, first of all. She yeah. getting all this hate. But then at the end of the day, she don't make the rules. No, she don't make the rules. These officers just entered and that's it. Like literally that that's it. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, you know, because of misinformation, I've seen bad shit like oh um she should be fighting men if she thinks she's big. You can't be a man and then stop fighting nah, women. You can't you can't be doing that. That's what I think is wrong, isn't it? I mean the fight lasted how long? Forty six seconds? Yeah. And I did a little poll on the thing as well, like, do you think they should have like a different thing? But, um, you know, non-binary, they don't want to do a non-binary thing, you're either male or female. Olympics don't believe in non-binary. Let me ask you something, do you believe in gender, gender fluid toilets? Oh no, that's all bullshit, man. I really you know, sometimes, yeah, I think it's a bit pervy as well, you know that? Yeah, but you know why they've done it, innit? You know, because to kind of give the other genders a chance. Or oh, not a chance, sorry, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> not a chance. Like, gives another genders, like, an option. Like, yeah, but because like, you can't say oh male, female, this that like you can't you can't just have a set of doors. So you, what you're gonna do? You're gonna make it one toilet for everything. I know a lot of I know. It's group, weird, weird and awkward and shit, isn't it, man? I saw it on Tesco's. Like someone shared a post on LinkedIn. Tesco head office things that make sense. Gender fluid toilets. I'm like, what? How does that even make sense? Like, I'm sorry, no. It's a male female toilet. Like. Sorry, <laughs> that's how I feel about. I think what it is with that as well, people should respect. No, I'm not going to talk a lot about it. I think. Um, Jay Slater, man. Jay Slater. We, well, I don't think we've actually done um, a conversation about him since he's obviously sadly been found, man. Do you know? I've seen some brutal posts on it. Um, it's sad. It's sad, but uh, the amount of misinformation that was going on with that, apparently. Did he just fall? The only thing and I don't understand why was he there innit, in the first place. Obviously, he might have fallen. And it the thing was, I think it was a holiday and it turned into a move. Yeah. I think it was a holiday and it turned into something. It turned you know when you go, you know when you go somewhere, you link, you, you see some guys from there, then you think, oh yeah, can you get something? And then it turned into a long thing. He's gone on a journey. It's something's happened. And then right, so the only thing yeah, I could compare it to, yeah, it's mad. I'm not going to say my bedroom's name, yeah, but it was in Tenerife, so we went on lads holiday, and one of my mates, he got super fucked in the daytime. So we all went out, yeah, and he came out with us at the beginning, yeah, yeah. at the beginning of the night, and then he goes, I'm going back to the hotel now, I'm too tired, innit? Yeah. yeah. So we go, all right, cool, we'll see you later, innit? So the end of the night's come, we've all had like hours out. Obviously, there's a McDonald's near the um, hotel where we go, so we all link up there, get a little bag up before we go back. Yeah. We've seen this guy, he's walked back and we're like, where are you been? He's at Funk Nose. He goes, I thought the hotel was straight, so I kept walking straight for about two hours, then I got lost. Oh my God. So oh I understand God. shit like that happens, but then there would have been an explanation. Like, we would have known, yo, this is, he was our bedroom. He, um, he got drunk, so he went back to the hotel, but he must have walked, like, Pass kind of thing, innit? I don't know. That's mad. And it was literally in Tenerife as well. That's the maddest thing. That is crazy. That is actually mad. Tenerife, Tenerife's sick, man. I want to go, you know. I actually yeah. want to go. I've been trying to... I've been that trying was where to... I was supposed to go instead of Turkey, to be honest with you. We need well, to I'm go down. I, I'm glad I did choose Turkey because yeah, it was lit, man. We need to go down, man. Hmm? Again? We need to go down. Um, Elon Musk, he was voicing his opinions. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, he was voicing his opinions. I did see a bit of it, and I didn't really see a lot of it. So I, I can't really speak up. What did he say? I don't know. He was saying some shit, you know. I don't think he should, though, to be honest with you. But Do you know what? Wait, there's, there's, you know what? There's some news that was in India. Like, today, someone had spoke to me about it, and I actually looked it on Google, and I don't know what's going on over there. And, I, and it's so sad. Um, Hindus are being killed. Oh, you're in, in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. So, like, you know what? I, I was how do some people, research about that. I seen a post, and how that. people are not highlighting that. Well, yeah. you, there's nothing. I've not heard it on one news outlet. Not one 
anything. Do you know what is happening or you don't know yourself? I, you know what? I had a brief look at it in the morning and I want to read into why or what's going on because I don't know the facts and I don't want to speak on anything. All I've seen is that two really high people in Bangladesh who are Hindus have been killed. Okay. But out of the hundred. I didn't even know there was Hindus. Yeah, there. They're like, like literally, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I don't know the story about it, but it's sad. Like that, that shit's that shit's crazy, man. So, um, another bit of news that I got. Well, I didn't get everyone got. I think while I was out there, um, vibes cartel, man. Got yeah, man. World boss. I bet he's. I bet he must be thinking. No one man to a pump him nowadays. Huh? No one man to a pump him. Nowadays. <laughs> uh, do you know the story about that? Why he got arrested and that? Bro, like I know bits of it and stuff, <laughs> but go on. You, yeah, he was obviously he was on the murder charge, didn't he? But his charge was stupid, like. He was on um, voice notes and that saying, yeah, we chopped this guy up, it was us, they're never going to find him and this and that. So he got caught red-handed. Mm. So I don't know how he got away with it because they're, they're not retrying it, that's so why. Do you think he's actually done it then? Or do you think it was just chat and shit? He ain't done it. Huh? Do you think he's actually killed a man? Yeah, his voice notes were there and texts were there. But he, he, how was he out of prison then? Sure, that's what I'm saying. So oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think he's actually done it, or do you think it was just fucking gassing? No. So obviously he's saying that he's never obviously done nothing, and the government obviously he was getting loads of influence and he's getting power in it. And when this happened in Jamaica, he was a big that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is probably the biggest. He's like there, a isn't it? prime minister there, isn't it? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. general. Yeah, me? general. Yeah, he's saying that they were trying to take his power away from him, innit? So I don't know, man. But you know what the thing is, like, he's gonna have more power now. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. He, he's literally gonna have so much influence on that shit. I think now, yeah, you know, because of this internet shit. So before he went away, there, there was obviously YouTube and that, but now everyone's like the whole world's open, isn't it? So I think he's gonna do some mad collabs and shit, man. He is. He's gonna do some mad collabs, but I think people are gonna be very weary. I think it's gonna be difficult as well. Like, you remember, remember what's his name came out? What's his name? That's what's our oh, first. Got his name, man. That stupid dance he did that made uh, made his tune. Oh, uh, um, Schmurder. Yeah, bro. Everyone gasped him to come out before he. Ain't no, but it. you know him. I thought yeah, about him. Schmurder. He, he ain't putting no music up, but he's saying fuck all the in industry people. Like, yeah, because he put out a tune and it was whack. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy made it of a flipping stupid dance. You know, right now he's just trying as well. You know, he's just a bar. He came. Yeah, UK yeah I know he came UK and they sort of gave him a cali because that's not cali. <laughs> I saw that, I saw that, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you're getting about, man, he's getting about. But yo, yeah, everyone's, everyone's waiting to hear Vibe's new tune. Yeah, yeah, everyone's, yeah, yeah, Everyone's waiting to hear him drop something. I think that's, I think, because I, I... He's had a lot of time to think as well, you get me? He's been sitting there, man. But um, Prison Music, Tory Lanez, you seen that? Bro, his, he's recording hard. The tunes are sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the quality... He's doing his college thing as well, or something. Yeah, he's, he's uh, graduating college or something there because he didn't go, he dropped out of college, so he wanted to graduate college. He goes, he's living his best life because obviously he's got time to record. He's in his cell. Yeah, yeah. He's obviously, now he's found a way to record off the prison phone and it sounds like he's in a fucking studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's on a prison phone. If dude can do it on a prison phone, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's, that's crazy. How to do something like that? Huh? To do something like that on a prison phone. I know Shug Knight still does his uh, podcast. You know what he's come out with actually? Do you know what he's come out and said? I love watching his podcast. Who's Shug Knight? Shug Knight's podcast, yeah. Honestly, do you know what it's so... It's... it's Because, like, obviously, the guy chats waffles. But some things, like he, he says, I think he... The recent thing he comes out and said, what do you say? He said, Ben Affleck has divorced J-Lo because he's seen... Because J-Lo has been sent videos of what happened in Diddy's house. Ooh. And he's seen them. Because think about J-Lo you know and Diddy were Diddy together. Diddy went quiet, innit, after a bit, man? Do you know what it is? is Diddy, Diddy's gone quiet. I think the whole Diddy situation's gone... I think, I think he's gone quiet. Why well, do you think he's ready to expose Bear Man, so he just went quiet? I think the problem is, I think, he's got, I think he's got receipts on everybody, bro. If I'm being honest with you, he's got receipts on everyone. Everyone. Well, is that you, proper quiet, innit? You never even heard about it again, innit? Yeah, because... Apart from the no Diddy bit. He's got receipts on everyone. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, receipts yeah. on everyone. Like, you've been to his house, you've parted with him, you're going to be an A-list, you've gone on there, you've parted with dude. Like... <laughs> You, you, you're gonna be there, bro, when he's doing some fucked up shit and he's gonna indict you in it. Yeah. So, what do you do? Yeah, man. Um, pick up the sponsors again. So, this week, yeah. Peril 2, we have the Nike Air Force One. Um, they are called the ACW Whites. 
Um, trainers, man, yo, Nike. I hit the wet cements, like I said earlier, the Juno Fours, the bad boy. Yeah, that's sick. Then, um, obviously, you, you're not really, fa- like, you've just been following trainers recently, recently isn't it? Recently, yeah. So, do you know what grails are? Yeah, grails are like holy grails that people, these trainers came out back in yeah, the day yeah, and you yeah, can't yeah, get them yeah, anymore. Yeah, you don't yeah. Nike, yeah? They're having such a slump that they're bringing out the grails again. Do you know people who are too young to get them or who missed out and that, they're, they're obviously... Yeah, their stocks, stocks, I've heard about their stocks, their stocks have dropped massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purely because I think the shoe that they're, they're not really doing very well. Yeah, they're not, I don't know. Yeah. I think some of the new futuristic ones they released are dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Do you know what I mean? And they're kind of sticking to the brands or sticking to the kind of like... The classics, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly, that's what That's what it is, they need the classics, man. But um, yeah, I hit the wet cements, I think they're cold. But just wearable, I don't know wearability too much. But I don't really wear them, let me put them on ice for a bit. You know, I've seen these videos online with, oh, like, we can go to Nike Outlet, we can get fucking, oh, we can flip these, flip that. Bro, every time I go to Nike Outlet, it's dead. Bro, you know, it's like you're flipping. You know, Perro too, yeah, Jig, I was just with him before we came God, here. Yeah. And that's what he did today. He went to Outlets, he goes, it was dead, there's nothing there. It's dead, it's dead. Like, I see it on TikTok, He's, you know, you want to see how I made 500 pounds? Like, yeah. <laughs> going to Outlet and that, like, yo, like, literally, bro, like, no. They ain't those trainers there, they are. And then they take a big photo of eBay and put it side by side. Nah, it ain't it, man. I would never wear those. Um, big up Mama's Kitchen. Yeah, man. Each and every time. Big up Leicester Podcast Studio. Big up Oris Glass and Glazing Limited. Big up Man Made Barbers. Now, <laughs> I got a little story. Free Man Made Barbers. Free, free, free my boy Cam from Man Made. I just want to say, guys, serving some time for some firearm shit. <laughs> shooting pistols, shooting water at everyone, man. Don't be riding in the streets doing that. Yeah, don't be shooting man with <laughs> man. Get arrested, bro. <laughs> Can't believe that. Uh, big up Flexi Car, Flexi Vehicle Hire, Skirt Skirt. Um, yeah, man. That's right. it, man. We've got some uh, amazing yeah, guests lined up. Yeah, we've got some content up. coming out. We've got some guests lined up. We've got we've had our two weeks off and we've planned a couple of things. That's it, man. 100%. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready. Season, ready. <laughs> ready. Taking off. Yo, come. Peace. <laughs>